Hey guys, what's up? I'm getting quite a bit of rain today, actually. I ended up wearing, <laughs> this is a rash guard from the brand, uh, what is it called? I can't remember. Anyways, I got it at Costco a while ago, but I actually like wearing it when it's raining because it just looks like a long sleeve shirt, but it's water repellent. It's kind of like a little slicker. Anyways, uh, it also has UPF 50 in the fabric, which is nice. How are you all today? Having a good day, uh, busy day. But, uh, oh, you all, this morning I put on that Walgreens Sensitive Skin. I um, I don't think I've shown that in a while. I wanna use it up. I really like it. In fact, that and the CVS brand, Clear Zinc Lotion, they're competitive with uh, Ulta MD UV Sport. I really can't tell the difference. Now, this morning you probably saw me putting it on. It goes on really casty, but I swear, just give it some time and it, it dries fairly clear. I mean, you can see right now, I don't think I have much of a cast going on. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be a sheer-ish cast on other skin types, but anyways. So I finished the book uh, Cloud Splitter. It was really good, you guys. I recommend it. I'll list it down below if you all are in the market for a book. It kind of got a little uh, slow, uh, probably at the two thirds point, but it was good. It's about uh, abolitionists. It was good. Right now I'm reading, Lord. Do you ever have a hard time remembering the name of a book? Like it's just kind of a little bit long snowflower and the fan or something <laughs> anyways it's uh quite good it's a book a viewer actually sent me as a gift and i'm really enjoying it it uh is about uh the foot binding practices in china my goodness these two young girls uh going through the ancient ritual of foot binding Whoo! my goodness osteomyelitis for for a man scary to think, think that one's happened. Yeah, I mean, when you think, that's what I love about reading books. Whenever things are, I don't know, you're a little down or whatnot, you can always read a book and one of the characters in life will put things in perspective for you. I love fiction the most. I, don't, I find I don't really resonate with a lot of nonfiction, especially popular nonfiction. I feel like, okay, I don't know. But I like really well-written fiction. What are you guys reading these days? Yeah, it is quite dreary. Dreary, dreary. I kind of like this weather. Uh, I find that my ability to get work done improves tremendously. If it's super nice out, then you kind of want to go outside and enjoy the day. Oh, update on that, uh, those laundry bins that I got last week at Costco. They're actually working out pretty well for storage purposes. Yikes, this person just Oh, you guys, I have a gym story for you all. You know, uh, my pet peeve about children unattended in the gym or like with a the parent there that's not paying attention to them. I just, yeah, it drives me crazy. It, a, I mean, it's, it clearly states on the rules which they're disregarding no unattended children, uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't stand it when kids are like playing around the gym because I feel as though it is, it's dangerous. I mean, there are weights and like especially the weight machines, they can jam their fingers in it, and then when they get on the treadmill and play on it, it's like, no, this is not a toy. You're gonna, you're gonna get hurt. It just makes me antsy. You know, I feel like I'm a sense of responsibility for these children, and sometimes they're in there by themselves, and like it's just me, and then it's like, oh crap, if something bad happens. It's gonna be all on me. I'm the only adult here. Anyways, so this I could not believe. There are these kids in the gym. Uh, in my gym, and they were throwing the medicine ball, which is not a ball to play with. <laughs> you know, it's a weighted ball. They were throwing one of the lighter weight ones. Anyways, they threw it and decked the, um, one of the recumbent bikes has, the, the bikes in my gym have TV screens on them. They threw the ball and it cracked the recumbent bike, bike screen. So now it is inoperable, which, 
it's like unacceptable and they acted they just like left you know and it's like what am I supposed to do now reprimand these children tail on them I didn't know what to do so oh you guys I'm wearing a new mascara from uh, I got on YesStyle it's by the brand can make the same brand that makes that mermaid sunscreen that I've reviewed for you guys it's really good yeah I kind of like this mascara I finished up the um, I finished up the Thrive Mascara, Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I rather liked that, um, but I finished it. It has those little fibers in it. I think I'm going to repurchase that, but I'm liking this Can Make one. Yeah, I kind of want to go to Bali. I don't know <laughs> what inspired me to do that. I don't know. Something about this weather has me eat, pray, love feeling. Who knows? Have you guys ever read that book or seen the movie? It kind of got on my nerves. I feel as though you either love it or hate it. No one's really neutral about it. Yeah, it got on my nerves, but in, in this weird way where I couldn't stop reading the book. Uh, like, I, I don't know what that was about. Like, I was hate reading. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then I watched the movie, too, to punish myself further. Like, but I love Julia Roberts. I'll watch anything with Julia Roberts. You know, fun fact, uh, you wouldn't know now looking at me, but when I was a child, sounds weird I looked an awful lot like ooh, I looked an awful lot like Julia Roberts I used to get people would tell my my parents that all the time like she looks like a young Julia Roberts I really did pothole yeah if you ever move to Houston you have to know that our roads are a little bumpy I mean you guys probably appreciate that already but riding around in the car with me, vlogging and bobbling along. I'm getting one of these Conair handheld garment steamers because I hate ironing. Well, I actually I love ironing. I take that back. I really enjoy it. I find it relaxing. That's the problem. I can just iron over and over and over again and get in a zen-like state and waste like four hours ironing a shirt. Um, so I never iron, but this, this doesn't look too zen. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a distraction, but uh, will keep me from looking like I just rolled out of bed. And I can kind of work as a tripod here in the cart. I swear, strangest things make the best tripods. And as a YouTuber, like, I don't know if other YouTubers are this way, but I find certain things, certain items, end up being really like the right height of a makeshift tripod. And I have plenty of tripods, don't get me wrong. Uh, and then, so once I find an item that's like perfect, I hold on to it. So I'll keep like some random box for the longest time because it's the perfect height. <laughs> How cool is this? A bee barn. Bees can live in there. Put in your garden and butterflies too. Not so great if you have a Hymenoptera allergy, though. <laughs> Look, you can get all of these Beyond patties for $14.99. I hate Beyond meat, though. It tastes like bad breath to me. Ugh. At least the crumbles. I've never had the burgers. But they don't really speak to me. I like this sweater. It's a cute little collar. Ella Moss. I have a darker peach color. Kind of a purple one too. Ooh, these Ellen Tracy sweaters look nice. $13. It's a good price. I don't appear to have my size though. Dern. Looks like we got a sprinkling of new books at Costco here. Oh! I saw this one. I saw this. Oprah usually... I usually enjoy her, her picks. Comment below, have you guys read this? I love The Grapes of Wrath. It's one of my favorite books. Okay, I'm tempted. Well, glad I didn't spend the big bucks last week on my car wash. <laughs> Spring for the uh, deluxe package because that dirt rain is, is back in action. I've already got a residue on my car. <laughs>
yeah, two chores I love to do, ironing and car washing. Um, I find them very relaxing. There's a science to washing a car though. It's very zen. You know, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, that book, really, they should come out with a part two. Zen and the Art of uh, Detailing, Chamoying. It's very, it's very soothing. This Costco parking lot, however, is not soothing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Looks like they have it here at Kroger for 25% off. I'm seeing some other books that look good. Free Fall kind of looked good. The Family Upstairs. This looked really good. The Orphan's Tale. I don't know. What was the other one I saw? Um, the German Midwife looks somewhat entertaining. I haven't gotten any new fragrances for Tuscany as of lately, but currently I'm burning one of these premium ones. And I swear they're not, they're a lot stronger. Which one do I have? Like a coconut one? They don't even have it here. But they're not quite the same. So I did in fact get the Turbo Extreme Steam from Costco, the handheld steamer. I also got the stir fry blend and the frozen rice cauliflower. I got my spinach and some romaine for salads. I got my zucchini and some yellow squash as well. And some mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, radishes, cabbage, cilantro, carrots, an onion, two grapefruit, and some oranges, one of these little clementines from Kroger. I got tofu and a bag of lentils. I also got pears, and I've really been loving these no cow bars. These are my favorite flavors. Some of the flavors are a little odd. Um, I like the chocolate fudge brownie and the peanut butter chocolate chip ones. And I also got a box of stevia because I'm out. And I got some ginger. And this was in the international section and looked good. It's an instant chicory beverage that has cocoa in it. So I thought that would be good to give a try. You know, I like my drinks. And I've had cocoa, I've had chicory, um, instant chicory coffee before. It doesn't have any caffeine in it. So I thought I would try this just as an afternoon beverage. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Kroger and Costco this week. Um, I always love going to Costco. I can spend a lot of time in there. I wanted to share with you guys, this is the mascara that I started using um, by Can, Can Make, Can Make. And I really like it. It, um, I think it's this color glossy black. Here's the applicator, which is a little odd, but it gives a nice curling effect to it. <clears throat> this is not as lengthening as the Thrive Cosmetics mascara is. I really enjoyed that one. It has these little fibers that kind of deposit on your eyelashes. It's technically called tubing mascara, I guess. But uh, yeah, this one is not water resistant, which I love. I don't like the water resistant uh, mascaras. I find they're just a little too drying on the eyelashes, but they do actually have a lower risk of bacterial contamination, uh, believe it or not. But yeah, I, um, I go through mascara every two to three months and then replace just to, to keep it from getting grungy you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm really liking this one. Go Kubuto. Go Kubuto. So yeah, I really liked their um, sunscreen as well, that mermaid one. It has like artichoke extract in it, which is a little odd. I don't really know. I can't really speak to that. I suppose it could be a source of prebiotics in the sunscreen. You know, there are some thought that prebiotics and probiotics and skincare products can help uh, cultivate a more hospitable cutaneous microbiome. A lot of research needs to be done on that though. Um, but uh, yeah, that doesn't stop skincare companies from, uh, from jumping on that bandwagon. So yeah, check out my video though on prebiotics and probiotics and skincare. But uh, promising area, especially for eczema and even acne, uh, probiotics and prebiotics applied topically. We'll see what the next 
see what the next decade of uh, research brings on. I just have my little, I call this my house coat. It's my Barefoot Dreams card again. I only wear it in the house, like a little house coat. And it's cozy. It's really soft. These are worth that. You know, they're really hyped on YouTube. I'm glad I got, got it. Um, it's a circle cardigan. It's a little pricey, but I've had it for two years now. And it looks exactly like it did when I first got it. And it washes up really well. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my vlog today. Thank you for coming along. I always love taking you guys with me in the car and chit-chatting with you all. It was fun. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.